I think this is the best show on TV. These are our photos, our personal photos coming from Google Photos. I'm not doing anything to make this happen. These photos are coming from the cloud. Now I did set it up and I will show you how to do that. But first I want to explain the difference between what this is doing and just casting. I mean, sometimes you might want to have something on your phone that you want to see on the big screen TV. And that is casting. So for example, you might want a YouTube video. I, it's easy for me to get a YouTube video going on my phone. And then all I have to do tap this Chrome button at the top and tell it that I want it to play on, this is our bedroom TV. And in a minute, what is on my phone will instead be playing on the TV. Do you think your smartphone is smarter than you? Do you have questions about your iPhone or Android devices or the cloud? Now that is casting. So that's from my phone to the TV. I'm going to stop that just by tapping the same little button and it stops casting to the TV. I'm just back on my phone. Automatically, we're just back to my pictures. What do you need to make that happen? You need a Chromecast. This is a Google Chromecast. We call it a dongle. It's HDMI. So then you need a TV with an empty HDMI port. All you do is plug this into the HDMI. And then you do have power. You need to plug the power cable into the other end so that it stays powered. The Chromecast these days, today's model, includes Google TV. But for what we're talking about, all you need is the Chromecast. And it's $30 for the HD and $50, I think, for the 4K version. So now let's start at square one. You have a TV. It has an HDMI port in the back. You plug the Chromecast dongle into the HDMI port and you turn the TV on. I'd have already plugged one into the HDMI port in the back. <laughs> when you first turn the TV on, your TV is probably going to want to be on TV. So how do you get it to be on the Chromecast? You just have to change the input settings to the proper HDMI port. So find the input settings button on your TV's remote and choose, and I know that I have it in the HDMI 3 port. Here are my pictures. Now the first time you do this, you will have to go through some setup. The Chromecast will step you through getting connected to your household Wi-Fi. Then you need a phone connected to the same Wi-Fi and the Google Home app. So the Google Home app looks like a little house, multicolored house. And under devices, you will have needed to set up the TV. In our case, we set it up as the bedroom TV. Now, the pictures that are showing on there, that's called the ambient mode, meaning nothing else is going on. You're not watching a show. You're not streaming anything. Ambient mode, and you can tell it what to play by three dots and ambient mode settings. Google Photos, My Photos, and you can choose an album. I love showing recent highlights. So recent highlights is something that'll just happen automatically from your recently taken pictures in Google Photos, automatically. This is just so cool. We come in from a trip, we turn the TV on, we're seeing photos of our trip. The best TV show in town. Now, once it's all set up, you can select your albums from Google Photos. Let me show you where that is. Google Photos and your profile picture and 
Photos Settings, Apps and Devices, Photo Frames. Google Photos calls this a photo frame. It's the bedroom TV and it's showing recent highlights and national parks. I can deselect both of those to play something else. Fun with 2024 diving on BVI aggressor. And in just a second, we will start seeing scuba diving vacation pictures. There we go. Now, if you do have the Google TV model of the Chromecast, Chromecast and Google TV, then when you first go to your proper HDMI port, instead of going straight to your photos, you're going to be going to the Google TV with all your streaming services. Now, with the remote, if you just press the back arrow, that will take you to your photos. Then to get back to that main screen, it's the home button, takes you back to all your streaming services. And just one other thing to know is that you can set settings here. This top ring takes you up and over, all the way over towards the right, there are settings. You, and the enter button is where the indentation where your thumb is. That's the enter button. And under system and ambient mode, here are the settings that you can change for your photos. Remember, ambient mode is like the screensaver. And I want Google Photos. And here is where... I can set the amount of time. So I have mine currently set for five seconds, but you probably want it more like 30 seconds per photo. That's how long each photo stays on. And you the back arrow and the home button to take you back to your Google TV. And then if you wait a little bit, it will automatically go to the screensaver in your photos, or you can just press that back arrow. So that is the Google TV. Once it's set up, you don't have to do anything unless you want to change the pictures that are shown. The best show on TV. I'm Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour.